How you doing? This is Mitch with the Native Survival School. While I was living in the woods of Vancouver Island filming the show alone, I lived on a lavu that I made out of a tarp. Today, I'm going to share that technique. Stay tuned. First off, I need a tarp. This is actually a tarp from the show. It's about 14 by 16. I need to lay it out like a rectangle. Next thing I need is a tripod. I need the tripod to be the right length the first time. So I'm gonna pace out the diagonal to the middle. About nine to 10, roughly. That'll give me a good ballpark. Next, I need to compress my rectangle to prepare it for the tripod. which I'm going to back right into the tarp. Something like that, get me started. This front edge, the long side of my rectangle, is my front door. Tie these corners. If my grommets line up, I can tie them as well. Put a quick release in there. step is to take the side and tuck it underneath. That creates a floor inside. I do the same on the other side.
Yeah, I spent a lot of time in this tarp in this setup. The grommets don't line up in this particular tarp. If they do, tie them together, button it up. If not, you can do what I did. Take this. Uh, you can take a grommet and you tie to the opposite side. And this was tied to the opposite side of the wood. Nice and tight, taut line hitch. Tie the bottom, and that creates a door. That's completely closed and buttoned up and tight, which was paramount. Because I was surrounded by apex predators like bears, and mountain lions and wolves as well <clears throat> and having a shelter that I really didn't have to build anything having a shelter that completely closes me in I have walls on all sides I have door flaps in the front that I can sew up and tie I took my ruck on the inside and laid it up against the door as well so if an animal, like a bear, whatever it is, mountain lion wants to break in to my lava to get at me, or whatever the case is, it's going to have to stick its head inside the folds, open the door, it's all tied, to get inside there, and then knock over my ruck to be able to even see inside and see me. So having that system gave me a reaction time. It gave me a delayed reaction for when the animal comes in to strike me, where I can strike myself. I can put on my headlamp, strike with my knife, I can strike with everything else I had around me. We had bear spray, a couple different things like that. And I had it all inside there with me. Obviously I would never want to use bear spray inside my shelter like that, but if I had to, I would have. Okay, so this is a fantastic shelter that is going to reduce convection. It's going to reduce the draft, the cold wind from getting in, the storms, hurricanes. We got smashed by weather. Smashed in Quatsino Sound on Vancouver Island. I mean, it was hailing. It was crazy. And uh, my tarp was just bellowing. I mean, the storms are over there are, are very intense. We get very intense hurricanes over here, so I had experience with that. That's why I went with the lava. This is why it's my favorite shelter. I have my tarp right over me creating my living space, my living room, and I had my bedroom. It reduced convection, having the layers underneath, uh, underneath me, reduced conduction, and it trapped my radiation inside when I had it all closed up. It's a great shelter for cold weather, nasty weather, precipitation. Love this shelter. One modification I made while I was out there, I took a little piece of wood that I cut, like a little button. I put it on the inside of the tarp. And then I grabbed the tarp like this on the other side of it. And that pulled the tarp away. Like this. So the button, the piece of wood was inside. And I took fishing line and tied two half hitches. Just tie a rope. You can do it with any rope. And, and then all you do is tie this to a tree and it pulls away your walls. Creates more headspace inside. Plenty of room to lay inside. As you can see, I actually slept on this side. Had all my gear right here, my backpack in front of the door. Plants hanging, yarrow, things like that hanging from the top. My gloves hanging, my rain gear. I had fishing line tied in between these, creating a web, and I had clothes hanging from the top of my, my lab. This is an absolutely amazing shelter. The shelter will save your life. And depending on the size of the tarp, it creates a different size lava. You just need a rectangle tarp to make it work. This has been Mitch with the Native Survival School. 
Be sure to check out our website, NinaSurvival.com, and as always, enjoy the outdoors.